All right, in this video, we're going to be going over Safari in iOS 7. All right, so when you boot it up, it's just like before, just your basic uh, internet connection. But in this one, we're going to be just kind of going over the new uh, things. The biggest thing you'll see is with the unified search URL bar. So before, you had to have... Um, there was the Google or Bing or Yahoo on the right hand side and then they had the bar across the top that allowed you to uh, type in your URL. But here you just type in um, pretty much whatever you want. So you, let's say your let's say you didn't know what it was, but you knew or this. So you could go and right here, MacHelpers.com, you can click on that one, brings it right up. So the next thing is if you wanted to, there's your back bar, you can go back and forth. Um, pretty straightforward there. Uh, let's go over here. If you tap in the plus button up on the right hand side, it brings up your bookmark bar. So these are all like your main ones that you've used. If so on, if you're using Safari or your house, these are your bookmark bars. So this is all where the, the things that come across the bar. Um, otherwise, you can go back up to here for a new tab. Go to our let's say our deal website. This is where we have all of our deals for cases and things like that. And you can go on to here, and so now you can switch back between the tabs. So you can have multiple tabs, you can have like 10 tabs going if you want, but there's the different ones. But for the most part, pretty straightforward. Uh, one thing I really like, it was also in iOS 6, is your clouds, your iCloud tabs. So as you can see across the top here, it says open on Troy's iMac. And then if you scroll down, you can see it says open on Troy's iPhone. So these are actually all the different tabs I've got on my iMac as well as my iPad, or I mean my iPhone, excuse me. Um, the bookmark, uh, these are your bookmarks. You go to your reading list where you can actually save these things for off uh, offline reading, whether you got on an airplane or things like that. Or you can go on here and um, these are just your bookmarks for different things. Um, has a list of all the stuff that you have. So, because it's all synced laterally with, uh, with your iMac and things like that. The next and last button is the share button. You got AirDrop, which is really cool. That's the new feature that they've added for iOS 7. So you can share it instantly with people that are nearby you. Instead of like uh, how Samsung made their big deals, oh, you could push the two together and push a button and it syncs. You don't need to touch the devices together. With this, if somebody has AirDrop open, you can share links, photos, image, uh, videos, uh, contacts, all that stuff right through directly through AirDrop, which is really cool. Then you got message, which you can hit message. Um, it will automatically populate the link in there. You can type the person's name that you want. So I'll send it to my business partner, Sean, here. Um, uh, and then he asked me if I did something new to the website, which I haven't. No, I'm just showing people how to use Safari with iOS 7. And then it automatically sends that. So you can do that with uh, messages, uh, mail, Twitter, or Facebook. Or you can go down here and just bookmark it, add to a reading list, add to the home screen. Bam, add to the home screen. It's right there. And if you don't want that anymore, you can hold on to it, delete. And we'll show you how to use all that stuff again. But that's pretty much, that's pretty much Safari. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. And um, they've kind of really made it simple, uh, more, a little bit more simplified in iOS 7 than they did in iOS 6. So uh, feel free to give us a shout with any questions, and um, and that's about it. Thank you very much.